Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video will be, I believe, the third update for my 1400 scale um, Air Force Base update. So before we get into the update, um, I'd like to kind of make an announcement about this airport. Um, there will be a big change going on, not necessarily with the aircraft, I mean it will be changing a bit, but previously my Air Force bases have been kind of based uh, around somewhere in America. Um, it hasn't been specific. I know I've previously said it's based here on Andrews Air Force Base, but I really don't know that many airports or Air Force Bases specifically around America. So um, I've changed the location of my Air Force Base. Now this won't mean that um, the aircraft will be completely changed to just this region's aircraft. Um, my Air Force Base will now be based here in Australia which means that now all my airports are based in Australia. So this one is probably based around the Cairns Townsville area. And since I don't have a name for it, I'm simply going to be calling it Australia Air Force Base. Um, pretty plain and simple, but um, yeah. So in this update, we do have, I believe, three new models. Um, all of these which were, of which were purchased while I was in Darwin. Um, not from any stores in there, but just from eBay. Anyway, we'll get into this. Um, excuse the open back of the hangars um, with the two aircraft in the hangars. So on the left we have a um, all-white Airbus A319 corporate jet. Um, this one here has just flown in from Perth. Um, and you can see we have the bus just to the left of it, which is just pulling in to get the passengers off. And on the right we have the A161 Tornado, first one that's out of the hangar. We'll kickstart it with the only commercial aircraft, or apart from the A319, on this board today. And that is this ASL Airlines Belgium, or TNT, Boeing 747-400 freighter. Uh, this has just actually flown in from Hong Kong, and it is just carrying a lot of um, special military cargo for the Air Force Base. So here we have the first new model, which is the only actual jet aircraft, apart from the A161, but it's not a proper model. Um, so this is the only actual jet. This is a US Air Force uh, B-1B Lancer. And yeah, so this has just flown in from an Air Force base in Guam and will be heading out to Darwin soon. Um, so it's actually just getting refueled up here for that flight out to Darwin. So moving over here now, we have another one of the new models, and this was my first Gemini Max. That last uh, B1B was Dragon Warbirds, and I have two new Gemini Max, so this one and another one. So this first one here is a US Air Force Boeing KC-135R, uh, New Jersey ANG. So this one here has just flew in from Darwin as well. It's working around Australia at the moment, so they're just taking some of the cargo off. It's not doing any air refueling work right now. So here next to the KC-135 we have this US Air Force Lockheed C-130H Hercules which has just flown in from Richmond uh, Royal Australian Air Force Base. Um, so this is US Air Force but um, it's doing some work around Darwin and Townsville but it was down in Richmond uh, delivering some cargo so it's actually just about to head out to um, Richmond again. Um, that uh, little dolly is just taking away the empty um, carriage that has just loaded on the cargo. Next to that we have this NATO Boeing E3A Sentry, which is in a much lighter grey livery. Um, this really isn't doing too much. Start getting ready for its pushback. Pushback vehicle is there um, in about an hour. Um, and yeah, it will be heading out to the right base in Catherine. So that is called Tyndall. And today's final aircraft is one of my favourite aircrafts, definitely my favourite military model, and that is the Royal Australian Air Force Boeing C-17 Globemaster III. This one has just flown in from Amberley. It doesn't come here very often. It's just dropping off some cargo out here. Um, so there's some fragile cargo in there that they needed this to carry up. Um, and yeah, the, so the crew are just actually getting unloaded now though. That is our last aircraft. And thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.